It's that time again. Back to school season is here, which means it's a good time to get your children's physical vaccines and other health care needs taken care of before they start the school year. Also, it's time to get them into a good routine. Here to talk about all of that and best practices is Kelly Shanahan, a pediatric provider over at Denver Health's school based health centers. Uh, Kelly, thanks so much for being here. I appreciate Thank it. Talking about this me. so important top of mind for parents right now. Let's start with the vaccines. What do parents need to know? And if they're hesitant, which many still are, what do you tell them about getting those vaccines? for their kids. Yeah, so I think two um, important considerations are that many schools require specific vaccines prior to coming back. Um, and I think it's an important thing to keep kids healthy, keep attendance up. Um, and vaccines have been around for a long time and overall kids do really well with them. So I think even if there are hesitations, it's important to get your kids in for their physical and have that conversation with their provider um, and discuss any hesitations that you may have. Okay, the other thing now that comes up, schedules. I remember what it was like being a kid. You stayed up really late during the summer, certainly didn't try to balance it out at all. What should parents start doing, say, now if their kids haven't already gone back? I think DPS starts here in another week week and a half or so to help sort of ease that transition and get them in a place where they can wake up a little earlier and try to get to bed a little earlier. Yeah, so I think the big thing is starting that transition early. Um, it can be a huge change for kids and very difficult to adjust to that school schedule. So starting at least a couple weeks prior to the school year beginning is important. Um, one thing I usually suggest is starting to schedule activities earlier in the morning so kids don't have an excuse <laughs> to sleep in and they have a reason to get up and, and get going. What happens if parents do wait again till the last minute? Is there anything they can do to help ease that transition then if it is going to be a little rushed? Yeah, I think just kind of prioritizing the basics of sleep, nutrition, exercise, all of those things are going to help encourage their kids to adjust um, to the changes as they go back to school. You just talked about nutrition. What should parents know in terms of why food is so important for helping kids be able to learn and what they need at, say, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, particularly now that they are going back to school and going to a classroom? Yeah, so I think a well-balanced diet it is extremely important. Um, it helps with kids' concentration, their attention, and will set them up for a great start as they go back to school. I think especially important for kids is getting three meals a day. For a lot of the kids we see, they're missing breakfast, which is probably the most important meal of the day, specifically to help with that, that attention and focus. And I think if parents are struggling with that, I think they have breakfast at a lot of schools mm -hmm. now, right, that kids yep. can get, and there's no cost to that, right? Yes, so meals are free at, at at all Colorado schools now. So um, if that's an issue, just encouraging your students to grab that free breakfast as they go into school can be helpful or sending them with at least a piece of fruit, a granola bar or something that they can snack on on their way to school. All right, get something in their bellies yep. before the long day. All right, Kelly, thank you so much. Great advice. I appreciate it.